welcome back to my channel. So another month has come to an end and I've collected quite a few things. However, this time around they all happen to be Korean beauty related. So yeah, let's get started. Right, so first I'm going to quickly jump into skincare and the first product I have here is the Laneige Triple Sunscreen with SPF 40. Now this is a very, very nice sunblock. I usually don't apply sunblock, but this one I could really get into. It has a very nice matte kind of powdery finish so it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky. It's not um, overly scented. It does smell somewhat like sunblock but nothing like too drastic. And it has a really nice kind of sparkle to it. I just thought that was so neat and it's a really nice addition to my skincare routine, especially because it has such a high SPF. For skincare, I have the It's Skin Power 10 Formula PO Effector Serum. So this I've been using for quite a while now and this one specifically, they have a whole line with different kind of serums that target different skin problems. This one in particular is for enlarged pores and sebum control and this is such an amazing product. I've been using it morning and night. I only use a few drops so it does have a, oops, it does have a drop. Er, is that what these are called? Droppers? I think so. So I just apply a drop in my palm and on my fingertips, rub that all together and pat it into my skin. I wait a couple of minutes before um, continuing with my normal skincare routine just to give it time to set into the skin. And I've seen a really big difference in my pore size. So this is a wonderful skincare item, a wonderful addition to my routine. And I actually think that I'll be filming a skincare routine soon. Um, so let me know if you'll be interested in seeing that. The last skincare products I quickly wanted to mention are the Dear By Imprani Toner and the Nuni Skin Sheets. My last video was all about these products. I reviewed and demoed them, so I'll have that video linked down below. Um, but quickly, I just wanted to say that this is a wonderful, gentle toner, great for brightening the skin, evening out your skin tone, and it helps with oily skin. And these skin sheets are a substitute for cotton pads and what's awesome about them is that you could use them as a quick face mask. So once again, I'll have that video linked down below if you want to learn more about these products. Okay, so now moving on to makeup. One of the biggest discoveries for me this month was the Pony Effect makeup line. And I only have a few items, but I am definitely going to be purchasing more. Um, Everything I've tried, I've really, really enjoyed. And it seems like they keep bringing out new products every week, which is really bad for people who are addicted to shopping. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So first I have here the Pebble Blender, which to be honest, took a bit of getting used to because it's so big and so dense. Now, this is very different from the Beauty Blender for obvious reasons, but particularly the material is much more like compact so the pores are more close together which makes it a lot more bouncy and I find a lot less absorbent. However, I still use this together with the Beauty Blender because I still haven't gotten used to using this particular edge to blend in my concealer around those hard to reach areas around the eyes and around the nose. I know you can but I just haven't really gotten used to the shape the, the shape of the tip yet. What I really love this for obviously is for applying foundation because it has this very large flat surface here. It makes blending the foundation a lot quicker. Also, I think it gives a very different finish from the Beauty Blender where the Beauty Blender is a very airbrushed finish. This one is a lot more natural but still very blended and high coverage. Just different and more natural. I don't know how to exactly explain it, but it does give off a different finish. I still really like it and I think it's a great addition to my tools. Next, I wanted to talk about the conceptual eye quads and I have hashtag innocent and hashtag be romantic. Now the one I use the most is hashtag innocent, but I think I got kind of an oops, kind of a quad going on here because try as hard as I might, I am 100% sure 
I am 100% sure that these are actually both the same shades. This one is supposed to be a darker shade, but I think that they accidentally put the same shade in my quad specifically because I have swatched this like a kabillion times and I just know that no way these are two different shades. There is absolutely no way. And I know I could have returned this because Mimi Box does have a really nice return policy, but I just, ugh, I just can't part with it because I like the shades so much. So, like I said, I also have Be Romantic, and it's not that I don't like these shades because I really, really do. It's just that these are more everyday wearable shades. These are a bit more darker, but still very, very pretty. What's impressed me so much about these eyeshadows is how nice the formula is. It's so smooth, blendable, pigmented, and it lasts a very, very long time on the eyes. As you can see, I have slightly hooded eyes, which means that even my favorite eyeshadows like Urban Decay and Lorac, those end up creasing on me as the day goes by, even with the best of primers. However, these have not creased on me at all. And I even tried them without primer and even then they didn't crease on me, which I found absolutely amazing. So I am so, so impressed with these. They're beautiful, beautiful quads. They have tons of other quads over on Mimi Box. I think I might be tempted to pick up a couple more um, just because I like the formula so much. I'm really curious to see how um, a darker formula works. Like they have a quad with some gold and a black eyeshadow. I think that might be the other one I pick up because I'm very, very intrigued by these eyeshadows. So these are wonderful. The last Pony Effect product I'm going to be talking about is the Favorite Fluid Lip Tint in the Light and it's what I have on at the moment. This I have been absolutely loving, loving so much. It's such a pretty neutral peachy shade, great for everyday wear and I've been pairing this shade with tons of different looks and it just seems to work with everything. Um, it's great for creating that gradient effect and the formulation is wonderful as well. It's pretty long lasting, it doesn't dry out your lips and it doesn't crackle off like so many kind of lip tint, lip wood lipstick products do. This one doesn't do that at all. I seriously can't say enough good things about this shade in particular, I am absolutely loving it. Last for makeup, I quickly wanted to mention the Etude House Secret Beam Highlighter in Gold and Beige. Now this is such a pretty highlighter. Now it's not as intense as the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfectors, but it does a wonderful job. It's what I have on at the moment, so you guys can be the judges of that. But I just think it's very natural and iridescent and I am absolutely loving this product. And it's only $12, so I think that is a pretty nice deal. So that wraps up my May favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, all of my links will be down below so that we can stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by and until next time. Bye!